the biggest risk to your financial life is being dependent on only one source of income that you're actively involved in. And this is because one source of income is too close to none. And most times it will not get you to financial freedom. In today's episode, I'm taking you through seven income streams that should skyrocket you to financial freedom. My name is Susan Wanjiko. Welcome to another episode of Finance Friday. The first income stream is earned income, and this is ideally money that you're earning because of working an eight to five job. It is important that you maximize on your job or on your career in the sense that your salary is ideally the source of your savings that you will eventually invest and use to generate the other six income streams that I'm going to be talking about. However, it is important to be conscious of the time that you're spending at work versus what exactly you're getting paid to work that job because more often than not, you end up realizing that you are trading time for money. And because of this, this income stream is actually limited in the sense that there's a limit to how much you can work, to the number of hours that you can work, which means that there's a limit to how much you can earn with this kind of income. The second income stream, which is one of my favorites, is business income. This is money that you're earning because of providing a service or a product. Now, it has been said that most billionaires were able to build their wealth because they built businesses or companies that were sustainable and scalable in the long term. Now, obviously not all businesses that are started succeed, but one foolproof way of building a successful business is solving an existing problem in the particular market that you are targeting. Now, the thing about business also is that in the initial stages, it's going to take a lot of your time, your money, and your energy. So it's not going to be a passive source of income per se. But with time, if you're able to diversify how you're providing the product or the service, it could form it could form a source of um, passive income in the long term in the sense that you don't ideally have to go to work, right? Or to actively do the deed so that you can earn that money. But it's a very good way of uh, building your wealth in the long term, a very good income stream. So the third income stream, which is another one of my favorites, is interest income. It is very good because it is passive income, which means that I do not have to put in so much time or even work in order to earn that income. So this is money that you're earning in terms of interest from savings and investments that you've already done before. So we are talking um, treasury bills and bonds, corporate debt, um, investments that you have done that ideally generate an interest uh, and especially a consistent interest, whether that is on a monthly basis, a quarterly basis or a semi-annually uh, basis. And it's a very, very good source of income because you all you have to do is just invest your money in assets that will generate you an interest. And then if you've done a very good investment or very good investments, then that money that comes in is quite a good amount and it can form part of your income streams. Now, you could also earn um, interest income from loaning people money, but loaning them at an interest. Obviously, that can get very tricky. So unless you have appropriate systems and structures to put into such kind of a venture or a business, then it wouldn't be the best. But I've seen people who make a lot of money because of running uh, lending businesses. And obviously, a lending business of that source will obviously give you passive income in the form of interest. Dividend income is the fourth income stream, and this is money that is earned as a result of owning shares of a particular company. Now, when you invest in the stock market, 
there are two major ways of um, making money from the stock market. And one of them is uh, dividend investing, where you are investing in a company, all right, for the sole purpose of growing with the company. So when I say growing with the company, the more the company grows, obviously, the share price goes higher, the profits go higher, their financial health is much better. And because you're a shareholder, that means you are a co-owner, of that company so whenever the company makes very good profits they've already taken care of um, or rather taken care of their obligations due the remaining the residual um profits are distributed amongst the shareholders of that company so obviously the more shares you own of a company the better or the bigger your dividend payout is uh, most companies in kenya pay out dividends once every year it's not always a given that you're going to get dividends because sometimes when the company is not doing very well, they are unable to pay dividends for that particular year. But as long as you choose a company that A, is offering a sustainable product or service, something that in the long term will still be needed right um the second thing when you're choosing a company for dividend investing you want to uh, pay particular attention especially to the management of the company the financial health of the company the dividend payment history of this company um the debt the way they handle debt in the company or even the debt history of the company so you want to take some time dividend investing is like a marriage okay so you wouldn't just meet someone yesterday and then tomorrow you already getting married to them well i see people do that but um ideally what i'm trying to say is that it's a long-term commitment dividend investing works best in the long term that means don't just uh, choose a company out of the blue take some time to research and to know as much as possible about this company because what you're looking for is sustainability in the long term and especially if you want to earn dividends for as long as possible as an income stream in your financial journey so ensure that you do very good research of these companies that you want to invest for the purposes of dividends because if a company is not sustainable in the long term or if it falls or if something happens and they are no longer able to exist or to run then you're going to um, get losses because you did invest money into that company so ensure that there's longevity ensure there's consistency in finances and profitability and ensure that the uh, product or service is actually something that is needed in the long term the fifth income stream is capital gains and you earn this when there's an increase in value of an asset that you own um, most of the time this happens in the stock market when people buy low in order to sell high what does this mean this means that you specifically buy or target uh, stocks whose share prices are significantly low because you are anticipating an increase in those prices over time or even in the future so how do you earn capital gains you earn capital gains when these stocks that you bought at a very low price have increased in value and now they're selling at a higher price so when you sell them at that higher price then you get um, capital gains that profit is what is referred to as capital gains another way you can earn um capital gains is also in the real estate um area where you can do the same you target properties that are at their, their price low right and then obviously you keep it until it appreciates in value and sell it off at a higher price than what you actually or initially bought it at so capital gains is generally and when you sell an investment an investment that you purchased at a low price and then now you're disposing it or selling it off at a much higher price than what you had bought it for so rental income is the sixth income stream and it has been said that it is one of the most powerful income streams of all the seven i mean it's amazing okay so this happens when you invest in different forms of real estate for the sole purpose of renting them out to other people so whether you're renting out apartments for living or airbnbs or even uh renting out a property for commercial purposes like for the use of a business or a company that is how to get rental income now the thing about rental income is that it the, there's a science to that madness and it comes with a requirement of very um heavy capital investment so obviously one of the downside um of acquiring rental income or while you're in the process of acquiring rental income is that it, it takes a lot of money and it costs a lot to even acquire rental property in the first place 
but if you're able to overcome that challenge it is i mean it is one of the best income streams that you can have the second thing as i mentioned there's a science to that madness just because you buy a piece of land a piece of property doesn't necessarily that you, uh, mean that you start to make millions or even billions from real estate. You need to understand how real estate works. You need to know how selling works and all that. So if you're interested in real estate and you don't know where to start, the beauty is everything can be learned. Okay, everything I know about investing, there was a time I never knew anything. So don't be discouraged by the requirements that it takes to be a mogul or a guru in real estate investing and renting out uh, things so that you can have rental income as part of your income streams. Uh, what we are saying is that talk to people who are in the real estate industry or experts that could ideally educate you or direct you to resources or people that could help you understand how best you can make money in rental income. Last but not least, we have royalties and licensing income. So this is income that you ideally get because you created a product, an idea, or a process, okay? And this product, idea, or process is ideally considered as your personal property. And for people to use this idea or product or process, they need your permission, okay? So how you make money is that they use your idea, they use your product, um, and you know, they're the ones who are putting in all the work and making revenue. And because they are using something that is ideally um, yours, you're the one who created it, then all the revenue they make, you get a percentage of it. Now, the secret with royalties and licensing income is that you have to create something unique, Okay, something that people want would want to use or duplicate or replicate in their businesses, in their companies, and so on. So you want to create something that is unique, and that thing has to be made repeatable. In my own opinion, I feel like royalties and licensing income is one of the most difficult income streams to generate, majorly because very few of us um, find ourselves in a position where we've come up with um, ideas or processes or products um, that you are able to um, use as intellectual property and to sell to companies but if you are gifted in that area and you are those kinds of people that come up with these brilliant ideas that no one else has come up with you should probably consider you know creating uh something a product an idea or a process that you could ideally license make it your own property your own intellectual property and sell it to companies um or businesses for the and, and that is very it's very good because this is a passive income stream and it is sustainable in the long term okay um so yeah that is royalty income i've had people say that most billionaires have all these seven income streams well i don't know how true or accurate that is but i don't believe that it is a must or it is mandatory that you have all these seven income streams in order to become a billionaire or to achieve financial freedom but i do believe that it is important to find the right mix or a perfect balance of at least three or four or five if you can okay of these income streams i know people like warren buffett who made their money just uh, because of capital gains and dividend income only so just find what works best for you and then focus and you know um niche down on those things and just go ham on building uh these um income streams to a sustainable level it is important that you prioritize uh, multiple income streams majorly because a, it's going to reduce your over-reliance on one source of income. We've already said that that is too close to none because if anything happens to your company that you work for or the business that you're in, then that would put you in a very uncomfortable position. So it helps to reduce the over-reliance on one uh, source of income. It also helps you to stop living paycheck to paycheck because all your money is not just coming from one place. It's coming from different pots that you've invested in or that you've built over time. And I believe that really works well to just reduce the pressure um, of being able to afford our lifestyles and to pay for our bills and expenses and to even just live a good quality life. Another good uh, or rather another benefit of having multiple streams of income, I do believe that with passive income, you could be able to reduce your working hours because most of us are working such crazy hours Monday to Monday, even in businesses, live alone employment, um, and we are trading a lot of our time. 
for money so if you're able to generate passive income then i believe some people wouldn't be working the jobs that they're working with bosses they hate because you you just need the money so it's it i mean you're able to reduce your working hours and you're even able to live a better quality of life and to enjoy the small or big pleasures of life i hope this video was helpful i look forward to reading your comments in the comment section down below or even just reading how you're planning on building or which of these income streams is your favorite and the ones that you're just saying, okay, I think I'm really interested in this. So thank you so much for watching. Remember to share this video, like and subscribe so that you can be notified every time that I post. And I'm going to see you on the next episode of Finance Friday. Thank you for watching.